um, for mentally challenged. R word. Thank you, Chef Tim. You are the best. And so good. Hello, we have barbecue chicken, half order. You don't know what you're going to say, though. I mean, unfortunately, just be careful. Just be careful with questionings and notes. and. Oh, yeah. No. I convert to Psycho. I know we've got. Yesterday, then. I'll just leave it alone if not. Oh, mine's gone. Mine's gone too, but it came up. It both did come up. Both, both of them came up. No, when, when it stays, that's the problem. Okay. That's the right. problem. Yeah, it, so we can't say that. So whatever I said, you can't say it. Yeah. Say it in other words. I don't know what I'm going to say. Oh, I know. I <laughs> told him after the warning came up just to be careful with their questions. All right. Yeah, be careful, guys, because I don't know what I said. You guys know what I said, but yeah. All right, go for it, guys. All right, so during the setup, the bell went off twice. Um, going under, Katie and Colleen noted that something had fallen over. Like they said a bag had fallen over. Uh, so Mike did the introduction, and he started us off for the evening. The first um, spirit that came through started with introducing herself in Spanish. Mike asked if she knew English. She said English, so she continued the rest of this part in English. Her name was Amalia. Um, she was 28 years old. When asked for a last name, we just got the letter R. She um, passed in the pond here, not by her own hand. Uh, the year for her was 73. She was not uh, married. At that point, Mike asked for permission to have Bean take over. She said no. She wanted to continue to speak to Mike. The bell went off twice, and then she told him she likes his energy. She doesn't know what dimension she's in, um, but she did see a step of many, but she doesn't want to go. Um, and then she went into that a man had hurt her. He's still alive. And then we got the name Edward Hills um, and then confirmed again that, yes, he was the one that hurt her. Uh, she was born with a problem with talking and with being able to move. And the bell went off. Um, she also was um, mentally challenged, so she could not take care of herself. Um, her mom showed her love, even though she couldn't move much. She loved her mom. She took care of her until she, until her mom passed. Her mom was single for many years. Um, her father left when she was born because she had these issues and she was going to be too much of a problem. Her, her mom worked many jobs to be able to provide for her. She, and then her mom got six, sick and she had just turned 28 when that happened. Then the bell went off. So her mom had a heart attack, and that's how she passed. Um, when the person we were communicating was 25, um, I didn't quite connect if she met somebody named Greg or her mom met somebody named Greg. Um, but she met somebody named Greg. He never liked her. I believe her mom met somebody named Greg. He never liked her. Um, she would, of course, soil herself, and he would never help to clean her up, or he never, you know, tried to get her outside help. He would scream at her. He urinated on her on her once and threw food at her. Um, she couldn't tell her mom because uh, she had no voice. Um, after her mom passed, he kept everything. He never fed her. She was forced to lick water up off the ground. He picked her up off the ground, thought she had passed, and he threw her here. Um, so at this point, at this point, um, Mike then asked for permission if Bean could come in, and he and she agreed that Bean could take over and speak with her. 
Um, so she did tell us uh, when she passed, she was unable to move here in the pond. Uh, he dragged me, dropped me in the center with a metal weight so she couldn't float back up. And then she said, go to the center, you'll find me. I'm scared. Five feet around the center, the bones are under debris. Unfortunately, no one ever looked for her. They didn't even know she was gone. The bell went off. She said that this man still is alive. And the bell went off again. And she said he would be almost, he would be almost 90 years old now. Um, then the shift started. And Mike began to talk to somebody named Louise. She was 37 years old. And she told us this is a bad place. She passed on the other side of the pond. She was running. There was a gang that controls the area and she was poked 16 times. Um, the last name we got was Sharon and she passed in 1961. Um, she said they were trying to take her money. She worked down in Philly. I, th I heard she was a migrant worker and she had just cashed her check um, and had just got paid, and then your alarm went off. Well, he was an iron worker. Iron worker. Oh, iron worker. Iron worker, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what okay. Colleen said. Right, someone that makes just much said... More, that makes more sense. Little, little Mama Yoda says, what, is the, what does the bell mean? The bell means the spirit touched the bell, and, and it rings. That's it. There's something there that caused it to ring. Yeah, that, that first fear that came through, that was, that was extremely sad, guys. I don't know if that was triggering for anybody else, but that was extremely sad. Um, that was good. Unfortunately, that stuff happens in this world, and it's freaking awful, to be honest with you. Um, I hate that that happens in this world, but there's evil out there like that. It's just, ugh, just horrible. It, it, it kind of brings me back to the first Estes last night, where... The one had talked about how this world is just getting more and more evil. Mm -hmm. And people are just becoming like the dead, soulless. That was what was running Girl. through my mind the whole Hold time. On. Who oh, sent yeah. that? Who's, who sent that uh, thing? Coral it was bright Wheeling? and pretty. I didn't, I didn't see it. Yeah, that was the balloons. How many, how, many, how many points is that? I agree, Sharon. I think so, too. Ozempic lowers the risk of major cardiovascular disease. Stroke, heart attack, or death. Uh, Coral sent the balloons. Coral, how many how many points is that? A thousand. So fifth, take away fifty from the Estes. Take away fifty. Fifty. Watch yourself. Uh, 